there are a ton of stories about Whitney Houston in the entertainment industry. Uh, a lot of good. A lot of people tell you about the the character of the woman and how much she cared and how down to earth she was with people. How relatable she was understanding and all these things. And every so often we get reminded of that and we get ev- or, or we get evidence of that from video of yesteryear or whatever. But there's a clip that's been going around of a BB and CC Winans performance at the Arsenio Hall show. It's of note because in that particular performance, they had a fucking superstar. The greatest, arguably the greatest singer of all time, vocalist of all time, Whitney Houston singing background for them on the Arsenio, I think it was Arsenio Hall show. While she had a number, I think I think she either had a number one record or the record was like about to be number one. Like the motherfucker was on a rocket out of here. But uh, go ahead and play the clip. on the Arsenio Hall show with BB and CC, who were the guests and Whitney was singing background background on lost without you and she was singing background with us around the country and Arista Records was losing their minds. Clive Davis was saying, you you can't do that because, you know, uh, I want to dance with somebody who was at number one, you know, and breaking records. And and she said, bye, I'm going to sing background. And so she was on the bus with us and they were like, they're going to kill you. She said, that's good. I'm good. I'm oh, good. Wow. She was having such a ball. So easy. Yeah, uh, don't play the don't play the music because they might they might they might uh might hit us, but the, it was that's some real shit. And I don't this might have slipped past some people's uh ears real quick. He said she didn't just sing background for them for the Arsenio Hall show because you know Arsenio Hall is a na- national show and maybe she was trying to get her, you know trying to get her visibility up. Nah, she sang with them around the country. She went on tour singing background for BB and CC Winant, an act that she was definitely a, a bigger star than. That's crazy, fam. Uh, shout out to Whitney Houston. Rest in peace to Whitney, a legend. Um, it's just amazing that you continue to get stories 30, 40 years after the fact. I think this is about closer to 30 some years after the fact, though. 30 years after the fact of just what made them great? What made them renowned? Um, side note, P.S. Also, also, I don't know what you call any of these shits. Um, uh, artists of today. Hey, recognize, hey, recognize, hey, recognize, hey, oh, hey, hold on, let me get it out. Let me get it out real quick. Artists of today, recognize what made the legends legends. It wasn't the the things that make Whitney Houston Whitney Houston isn't about her being a diva and her checking the motherfucker or her saying some 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 crazy cringy shit to another individual a lot of it is her helping her being humble her being a a a a a a a, a, a fan of 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 the the craft she likes BB and CC she fucks with they shit I'll sing background for you because y'all shit dope. I'm not too big to do that. That's what makes you a legend. That's some legendary shit. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, what you going to say, man? What on that? I was just about to say, are you do you hear what this is new information? The background singing for CC, BB and CC was new. I didn't know that. No, I'm saying, even if you just found out. Do you hear all this is new information or just new to you? What do you mean? Like I I'm said, not, not. you think this is new information or just new to us? Because I didn't know this either. Oh. No, it's new to me. It's not new information. She's on camera, so motherfucker saw her. Right, hey, that's man. what I'm saying. You know the shit that Quizzy John be doing be new to everybody is all I'm saying. Oh. 
I, I wasn't, yeah, well, I was just asking a question. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, how, yeah. Give how do you view question. this? Yeah. I was just asking how you personally view this. Because if it's new to the whole world for 30 years, I personally would weight it heavier. But this just seems some shit that's outside of our peer group that she, I don't think this is one of them unsung moments. I think it's just some shit we didn't know. Well, and, and, in it being something that we didn't know, I think it's well not maybe not unsung. How about undersung? How about under? I don't think this under- is ever being undersung. I think we just didn't know. And the fact that we didn't know, I think, tells you something, fam. Is what I'm saying. The fact no, that we don't. didn't know. It, the fact that newer artists don't know that these types of things are what build a legendary artist. These are the types of things that the incomparable Whitney Houston was doing. Not just for the cameras and the lights and the and the glitz of some shit for uh, I want to make sure my single I want to make sure my single hits number one so I want to get some visibility on Arsenio Hall show or whatever. No, she did the tour. The dates around the country that's not something that a, a, that's not something normally that you would attribute a, a, a solo star with the talent of a Whitney Houston. She heard her sing. She knew what the fuck she had. She was cold. She knew that shit. But humbled herself enough to say, hey look, Whitney Houston full well knew she could sing better than BB and CC. And same background for them. That should tell you something. I'm not sure that those things are getting passed down the line. And if they are, cool. And I'm just going. I'm just. I I just want to be a part of passing that down the line. We do it on our show. Somebody sees it now. Maybe it extends the bridge with 